this is a book haul and I'm very excited for it. Um, so May was my birthday and I love celebrating my birthday and I'm so blessed with the people I have in my life that um, I actually got three books from people. So let's get into those ones first. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's a watercolor book and it is from my friend who also um, likes to do artsy things and she actually works at a, an art store. So it's really cool. Um, so I believe this is fairly high quality stuff. It's a SMLT art brand. Um, it is 280 GSM and there are 12 sheets and I'm very excited to um, experiment with this watercolor paper. So thank you, Becca. She also got me some other stuff, but they're not books, so. Next is this book, 50 Ways to Draw Your Beautiful Ordinary Life from my friend Chantelle here on BookTube. I will leave her channel linked down below. Thank you, Chantelle. This is such an interesting um, creative book that you can like, it's like, it's almost like a prompt book where you can like sketch things. It gives you um, step by step how to sketch certain things. But then it also has more interactive pieces like, okay, here's a house. And they've given you an example of the inside of a house. But then they've also given you a blank house that you can draw your own. So it's really interactive that way and I'm very excited to um, play with this book. Looks a lot, like a lot of fun. And then from my hubby, he knows, he knows my favorite author of all time. Um, he knows that I've been wanting this book and funnily enough, as he was waiting for it to come in the mail, I had been looking for it on Book Outlet and he noticed that and he was like, what are you doing? And I just, I totally missed it. I didn't even like clue in that maybe he had maybe bought it. I never even clued in. So it is The Truth About Us. It is Brand Hansen's new book. He um, is actually a radio DJ, podcaster. I'll leave his um, YouTube channel linked down below as well. Um, and he writes Christian nonfiction. He has Asperger's and I love his book so much. So Anytime he has a new book coming out, I'm going to buy it no matter what. And I'm very excited to read this. So thank you, honey. Okay, so those are the three birthday gifts. This is a book outlet haul from like a couple of months ago. And it's been waiting because I didn't think that there was enough books to do a video just on this. It's been sitting in a pile untouched waiting for me to film a video. So now that I have enough books, to do a full video, I get to talk about them. So, okay, most of the time when I order from Book Outlet, I don't know anything about the book, really. So, um, Child of the River by Irma, hmm, Hubert, Jobert, I don't know. Okay, so I don't really wanna read like the back synopsis of these books but if there's a little tagline I'll just read that and see if it's interesting because this was a long time ago and I don't remember what these books are about so uh, a compelling coming-of-age story with an unlikely and utterly memorable heroine Child of the River is a timeless tale of heartbreak and triumph set in South Africa at the dawn of apartheid 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 Apar uh, what is that I'll put it on the screen I don't know what that word is um yeah, it's kind of, uh, there must be more in the synopsis that caught my eye because I don't usually enjoy coming of age stories, so yeah. Oh, I see World War II and I also don't like war, anything to touch with war. So uh, there must be something in here that caught my eye because so far I don't know what it was. <laughs> Let me know if you read that one. Okay, so A Bound Heart by Laura Franz. This one I've actually seen quite a bit on um, bookstagram so um, there's really no little blurb there's just the summary Julie Clausen says an epic journey of faith and love wrought through hardship so um, I've liked Julie Clausen's books in the past so give this one a shot okay this one I'm very happy to have 
This is The Orphan's Wish by Melanie Dickerson. This is, so I have a couple of her, okay, okay. Melanie Dickerson has a series called a Hagenheim or Hagenheim um, series, and they are all fairy tale retellings. And it's almost like, I think uh, somebody was telling me that she had a book deal with one publisher for the Hagenheim series um, years ago. I don't know how many years ago, but they're a little bit older. And then she got a new book deal with a new publisher and continued on the series. So the branding of the whole series looks very different, but it's still the same series. So uh, yeah, I really like the first, they're not the first two, but the two that I have read of the series. So um, happy to have this one and it's hardcover. That's fun. Okay, When God Doesn't Fix It by Laura Story. This book I read two years ago and it was in a time that I really needed a book like this. And I definitely put it on my to buy list. And so when I actually saw it on Book Outlet, I was like, yes. It wasn't, it wasn't like a couple of dollars, like it was a little bit more than that. So, but I knew I wanted it no matter what. So I bought this one. It is so amazing. If you're going through a hard time, you should try this book. It's really great. And now that I have it, I want to reread it. Next up, Predator by Terry Blackstock. This book, I think I've only tried, I don't even know if I've tried any Terry Blackstock. I'm not sure, but um, I must have read something on the back. Her search for the predator has made her the prey. That sounds intriguing. So I guess we'll see how this one goes. Hunted by Megan Spooner. This one, um, it says a beauty deadlier than the beast. So it's a beauty and the beast retelling, which I'm, I'm totally on board for re retellings of any kind, really. Um, there's no little blurb, so I'll just leave it there, but I'm really excited to have that. I've seen it um, recommended on Bookstagram as well, I think. Okay, A Portrait of Emily Price by Catherine Rie Ray. I read this one in April, yes, um, but I hadn't had a chance to haul it yet, so here it is. This one uh, I picked up because it mentioned um, well, Art Restore, Emily Price has never encountered anything she can't fix until she meets Ben, an Italian chef who seems just right. But when Emily follows Ben home to Italy, she learns that his family is another matter. So she's an artist. I love stories with artists. And, and Italy, like, come on, I want to visit Italy someday. And if your story is set in Italy or has Italian main characters, I'm probably going to be interested just based on that. So I believe I vlogged when I read this book, so I will leave that video link down below as well. And then this one is actually from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they actually have like a decent selection of books, you guys. Sometimes there's some gems. I've heard of Leanne Moriarty. Um, I've heard good things about her. I've never read anything by her. And this one is a middle grade, Nicola Berry, and the petrifying problem with Princess Petronella. That sounds fun. So yeah, haven't heard anything about this book or this series, apparently it's a series, but interested to read this book. The thrift stores in our town have finally opened up and I went to visit them last week sometime and I picked up a few books. The first one, is Treasure Island. I know Erica from is it the Perks of Books. Is that what it's called? I think maybe. Um, anyway, Erica, she loves pirate books. She loves a lot of different kinds of books, but one of them specifically is pirate books. And she has been raving about Treasure Island and saying that everyone needs to read Treasure Island. And I saw this. It's a really old vintage copy of Treasure Island. Um, this is by Rui. This is by Robert Louis Stevenson, if you were curious. Um, 1963, so it is a nice old copy. And yeah, ever since she's been talking about it, I really wanna read it. The Wind in the Willows. I never read this one as a kid, but one of my favorite art YouTubers, 
um, Doodle Date. Uh, they are from the UK. Steph, this is um, one of her favorites from her childhood. So I, I always said if I found it in the thrift store, I would pick it up because I'd like to read it and see how it is. So I'm sure there must be some of you out there that have read this book, so let me know what you thought of it. But it's also a nice old vintage copy. And let's see the year on this one. Oh, it's got an inscription on the inside. I don't know what it says though, but the inscription is 1966. Yep, that's when the that's when this book was published. So that's neat. Next up, I picked up Skin by Ted Decker. I read, I think I've read two of his books now, and I'm not all the way on board with his writing, but I'm still intrigued enough to try another one. So I'm gonna try Skin. And it's been actually on my Goodreads TBR for a little while. So the next one I picked up is Michael Crichton's Next. This one was also on my Goodreads TBR and I've really been kind of curious about Michael Crichton's other stuff since I read Jurassic Park last year and I've been wanting to read um, more of the Jurassic Park series but this one I found at the thrift store and so I picked it up. I don't know what the content is going to be like. I know Michael Crichton sometimes actually I'm pretty sure he likes to use language so we'll see how that fares in this book but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Science fiction it's always interesting and then um, because in May I was doing like a reread of all my childhood anything from my childhood I spotted Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck and this is like legit old like it's even like falling apart but um, so I had to pick this one up and read it. This one is 1965. It's not as old as I thought it would be, but it's still really cool. And it's really small. I didn't realize it was a small, but I read this one in high school. So I'm kind of interested to read it again. Now, this is already a pretty decent stack. But, I got some cash from my birthday as well from my parents and my in-laws. So I placed a book outlet order and I am very excited to say that all of these books, you guys, all of them, were less than $3 a piece. Now, of course, at the thrift store you can get them for cheaper than $3, it's not that big of a deal. But. Um, like the stuff that you get from Book Outlet is, is new. I mean, occasionally they have like damaged copies, but it's new. So like new books for less than $3, that's incredible. I will also leave my referral link down below. You guys should totally check out Book Outlet. Anyway, let's, let's just dive in. So, gotta go. Okay, so hopefully none of this is distracting. Um, in the Region of the Summer Stars by Stephen Lawhead. I read the Skin Map series by Stephen Lawhead and I have a few of his other books in my collection and uh, I, th I think he, he might become one of my go-to authors. We'll see. I want to try another book series of his and this is one and it's hardcover. That's sweet. Um, so yeah, this is the Airlandia series. The back little inscription says Thus does the world change, not with a sword, but with a word. Interested? Interested? Alright, next up. Nemesis by Brendan Rakes. Rakes? Reeks? Uh, this one is, he killed me, he killed me not, he killed me. Like, that's so interesting. Just, if you have a good tagline, um, blurb on your cover or in your description if you have a really good one that alone can sell a person on a book so I liked it um, as hardcover I love finding these hardcovers for like super cheap what does the hardback look like okay so the hardback is just red so like I said before about book outlet orders 
I know nothing about this book or the author, but whatever I read on Book Outlet as the description obviously sold me on it. So, Ooh. okay, The Confusion of Languages by Siobhan Fallon. This one um, it says two women far from home, one terrible misunderstanding. So it has something to do with, if I remember correctly, something to do with two women whose husbands are soldiers. Anyway, and so as the husbands are away, they are actually polar opposite women, but they become kind of friends, sort of, and one of them leaves their kid with the other one and then disappears. And the one who's babysitting the kid is like, where did the mom go? Like, she was supposed to come get her kid and now she's gone. So, that intrigued me, so looking forward to that. Next up, okay, this one. Oh, some of these covers, man, like, book cover designers have skills. Like, The Reader, book one of Sea of Ink and Gold by Tracy Chi. Very excited, and just by the cover. Um, what does this one say? This is a book, you are the reader. Look closer, there's magic here. Like, I don't know, just, just if the, if the little blurb. Sometimes that's all you need. Next one is Roar by Cora Carmack. And this is actually funny because, so the tagline says, challenge a tempest, survive it, and you become its master. So obviously, uh, okay, Carmack shines with this unique fantasy and alluring romance. Oh, I don't know about that. But, um, so obviously whatever I read in the description sold me on this. However, like a couple of days ago, I can't remember whose video I was watching here on booktube. Oh man, I wanted to remember that. Uh, I can't remember who it was. If I remember, I'll leave their channel link down below. But they had it on uh, one of their favorite reads. So that was cool. So hopefully I agree. The next one is Blue Screen by Dan Wells. This one is science fiction. Uh, in 2050, privacy is the world's rarest resource and nothing, not even the thoughts in our heads are safe. So like, hello, that's intriguing. Um, and potentially realistic, I don't know. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Keep in mind guys, these books are all under $3. I just don't, I just don't even, like it's amazing. This book I have seen on Book Outlet for so long and I've wanted to pick it up. Um, Only Queens with Hearts Can Bleed. So I think this is uh, like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, I think. So Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, Evil is Rising in Wonderland. Um, that's basically all I know and I picked it up and I'm super excited to read it. I'm all about the retellings right now, guys. Wow, that was unnecessarily loud. Okay, a few more to go. Hopefully this stack doesn't uh, collapse on me. No Such Person by Caroline B. Cooney. This is funny because I actually searched for Caroline B. Cooney on uh, Book Outlet because I was trying to find the face on the milk carton for my May Reads. I didn't find the face on the milk carton, but I found this one by her. So um, this one, this has something to do about like two sisters. One of them has a boyfriend and, the, and then something bad happens and the sister believes the boyfriend of her sister has something to do with this bad thing that happens, but it's all like a mystery. I don't know. I don't know. But it sounded good enough to try, so I'm going to try it. Okay, next. Um, oh, Hidden. I was like, where is the title? Because it's so close and it's so close to your face, you can't really read it. But anyway, Hidden by Helen Frost. An accidental kidnapping leaves two girls grasping for answers. The only way to learn the truth is to reveal their deepest secrets. Sounds intriguing to me. Although, I know my friend Chantelle at An Intentional Life, I'll leave her channel link down below, I know that she likes books written in verse, and this one kind of seems like it might be, 
And to be fair, I have never read a book written in verse, but I feel like it's not gonna be for me. So we'll see if I like this. And then we've got Beauty, a retelling of Beauty and the Beast by Robin McKinley. Uh, basically, that's all I know about it is that it's a retelling. So, oh, this I believe is a middle grade. It says an ALA notable book for children, an ALA best book for young adults. So middle grade YA, something in there. Yeah, I'm down to try it. And then my last one from Book Outlet is this little guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here, I thought this book was bigger, but Flower Fairies of the Autumn by Cicely Mary Barker. Um, it's just like a little poetry book uh, that's like whimsical and, and fairy centered and stuff. So I'm looking forward to like browsing through this. I think it's really cute and it's got illustrations for each one. So yeah, really cute. I'll, I guess I'll have to see if it's worth $3. <laughs> it's a pretty small book, but this is my haul you guys i'm so stoked for it i needed to get this video filmed because i just want to dive in and i think i have started a new little rule for myself here it is i hope i can follow it my one of my goals is i cannot buy any more books until i've read half of the previous book haul. Yikes! That's that's a tall order. I don't know. Even as I'm saying it, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's I think it's a good idea. So there it is. Uh, let me know if you've been hauling any books lately. If you've been thrifting now that the stores are open. Let me know. And let's chat books in the comments down below. And have a lovely day. Bye.